technical and I'm sure it was because we had a terrible rainstorm at the same time. And so um, I blinked out twice, but the recording continued, which is very strange. So um, some of you were able to, excuse me, stay on. Some of you um, logged off when that happened, but it was right towards the end, which is good. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Soles of your feet together. Knees out wide, starting to connect with the breath. Breathing into a four count, holding to a four count, and exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hand on your bellies and your left hand on your heart to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, time. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. And exhale. Two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore, and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. that intention with one deep inhale and one deep exhale. Good job. 
inhale, those knees and arms to center. Exhale, knees to the left, arms to the right. Stay on your bolster, deeper stretch. Again, if you don't have a bolster, that's completely fine. We're opening up those right obliques as we do. Staying here just a little bit longer as you feel it's, it's deeper than without the bolster. <clears throat> Inhale those knees and arms back to center and exhale as your knees come to the right, arms to the left. Again, a deeper stretch in this simple stretch that we have that opens up those left obliques, breathing in and out. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you roll over onto your right side in the fetal position. Again, remain here for just a few breaths. Then roll over on your hands and your block. Put them off to the side and keep them handy. Roll over onto your backs. Draw those knees in. Rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that right leg all the way down. Inhale that left arm up overhead and exhale as you push your left knee over to the right. Again, we're in a full body twist now. You can stay here or you can move a little bit farther into the asana. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend that right knee, grabbing onto your right ankle or your right toes. Wherever you are is perfect. And then inhale first. Exhale as you extend that left leg. Again, maybe grabbing onto your by your calf, your ankle, or your toes. We're using a strap. You can also use your block or your bolster and place it underneath your leg. Draw those shoulders back and down. Breathing in and out. And smile, it's Tuesday. It's a beautiful day here, which is unusual because the last few days it's been pouring down rain. Everything is soaking wet. And tomorrow it's supposed to rain again. But for now, we'll dry out for the rain.
slowly inhale back to center. And exhale as you extend that left leg. No, 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 yes. No, I'm sorry, please don't do that yet. Yes, left leg. <laughs> Inhale that right arm up overhead. And exhale as you push your right knee over to the left. Again, in a full body twist. You can stay here or you can inhale first. And exhale as you bend that left knee, grabbing onto your left foot or your left ankle. Don't feel like you have to. You can also use a strap here. Inhale first. And exhale as you extend that right leg. Now you can either use a bolster or a block underneath your leg. You could not use one and maybe just grab onto your toes, your calf, or your thigh. And then drag those shoulders back and down. Just open up your hearts as much as possible. Breathing in and out. And smile. grateful that you guys are here. Such a beautiful day. Let's take two more deep breaths here. And slowly inhale back to center. Draw those knees in for a hug. Rock back and forth. Then exhale those legs all the way down. Arms come up overhead. Inhale as you give yourselves a full body stretch. Tightening up every muscle in your body, even in your faces. And exhale as you walk your feet and your hands to the right as far as you can in crescent. Again, opening up those left obliques as we do. Breathing in and out.
slowly inhale as you draw those legs back to center. Again, giving yourselves a full body stretch as you do. And then exhale as you walk your hands and your feet to the left as far as you can, opening up that whole right side of your body, breathing into your right obliques. really good. It's so important to be stretching all these areas of our bodies, realizing that it allows us to move better when we're out and about. It keeps us from storing negative energy in different areas of our body, releasing everything that we need to as we do this. don't know what I would do without yoga in my life. I think that yoga is the thing that helps me the most health-wise. Obviously, I love hiking. I love doing everything that else, else that I do, but this is the one thing that I feel treats everything that I need mentally and physically. Again, inhale. One last time, inhale. Good job. Inhale as you push into the mat with your elbows. Come down onto the backs of your heads. Release your hands. 
Bend your knees, place your hands behind your thighs, spinal roll from shoulder to tailbone and back again. Allowing each vertebra to come back into alignment. We'll do three or four of these. Again, be gentle with yourselves and arrive at the tops of our mats in Sikhasana. Simple seated pose, crisscross apple shots. And again, let's go ahead and express gratitude, inhaling those arms all the way up. Utita. And exhale down to Anjali Mudra, opening up your shoulders, your heart. Inhale all the way up. Exhale those arms down again, Anjali Mudra. One last time, inhale all the way up. And exhale down. Good job. And then from here, place your hands on your knees. We're going to be doing Kundalini circles. So we're opening up our spines, moving them in six different directions as we do. Starting by making sure that the crowns of our heads are directly above our root chakra. Holding on to our knees, gently starting to rotate in a clockwise direction around your root chakra. Rotating in larger and larger circles. And again, imagining a white light rising from your root chakra to your sacral, to your solar plexus, to your heart, to your throat, to your third eye, all the way up to your crown chakra, shooting out, spreading that beautiful love and healing to everyone around you. And again, make sure that you don't go too far back. Imagine yourself as though you're only moving forward as you exhale as far as you can. And as you inhale, come back gently with your next day. Again, moving those spines in six different directions. So you feel as though you can almost touch your noses to the mats in front of you. And then start to move inward once you do. Again, remember the breath, breathing out as you move forward, breathing in as you move backward. In these Kundalini circles. So healing for your spines. until you finally make it back to center and stop. Again, the crowns of our heads are directly above our root chakras. We're going to go in the opposite direction. 
small circles in a counterclockwise direction. Holding on to our knees, keeping ourselves stable as we do. Making larger circles as we move out. Again, like a satellite dish. Being able to go farther and farther forward, but not going too far back. And remember that white knight rising. Through each chakra. Again, as those circles get larger and larger, make sure that you don't go back too far. Until you finally feel as though you can touch your noses or your chins to the mat or the floor in front of you. And then start moving inward. Funny because I was speaking to somebody last night about how she used to do so much yoga and then she started feeling like she didn't have the patience to practice yoga. But one of the things that yoga teaches us is patience. And that's what she's realized as she's gotten back into it. Coming back to the center, good job. And then from here, let's go ahead and take our bolster, if you have one handy, place it in front of you. Inhale. That right foot up on top of your left thigh in half lotus. Exhale first. Inhale both arms all the way up. And exhale as you fold forward. Hinge at the hips. Reach, reach, reach. Fingertips come down. Hearts come down. Third eye comes down if this is in your practice. Placing it on the mat, rocking back and forth. Again, opening up your intuition if you do. Again, breathing in and out.
Again, we're opening up our lower backs, opening up our thighs, our hips, our shoulders, breathing in and out. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk your hands to the right, grabbing onto your right knee with your left hand. Bring that right hand back. Or rock forward and take a bind. Breathing in and out. Inbound half lotus. your left foot up on top of your right thigh. Draw that right foot in. Exhale first. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale as you fold forward. Hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. All the way down. Hearts come down. Maybe your third eye comes down. Breathing in and out. And again, one thing about yoga is that, especially in yin, you may feel that you're holding a position for a very long time and you start to, your mind starts to wander and you start to think, oh, I have other things that I need to do. Just bring your attention back to the breath. Remember that what you're doing is so important for your for your body and for your mind. And remember that you need to take this time to concentrate on you.
on feeling yourself, on being able to move forward and do the most good that you can around you. Once you've practiced. And again, concentrate on any area in your body when we're in yin, where you may not be, be feeling exactly balanced. And as you breathe in, find where there's resistance in the body. As you breathe out, breathe that resistance out. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk your hands to the left, grabbing onto your left knee with your right hand. Bring that left hand back or possibly rock forward and take a bind. Again, in bound half lotus. Breathing in and out. Smile. Again, dragging those shoulders back and down as you do, opening your hearts to the side while well, through the breath. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you release that foot. Good job. And then from here, we're going to be moving down onto our backs. Once again, so first of all, let's just start out by bending forward, slowing our heart rates down. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, pull forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. Place your hands on either side of your calves. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale down, chin to chin, in Dandasana. And then just curl in. Again, slowing your heart rate down. Breathing in and out. Slowly inhale. As you walk those hands back again, exhale as you bend your knee. Place your hands on either side of your knees. Inhale first, exhale, inch by inch as slowly as you can. Vertebra by vertebra. Down to the mat. Then when you get there, draw those knees in, uh, uh, rock back into the earth, massage your lower backs into your knees. And smile. And then from here, 
Place the soles of your feet on the mat. Just below your sit bones. Inhale as you push your hips up. Placing your block underneath your sacrum. And again, on the highest, the second or the third level, wherever you are is perfect. Breathing in and Take two more deep breaths here in and out. Then slowly inhale as you push your hips up. Exhale as you draw. Your hips down, draw those knees in, give yourselves a hug, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. Then place your feet as wide as the mat. Arms around east and west. Inhale first. Exhale those knees all the way down to the left. Place your left foot on top of your right thigh if this is in your practice and look off to the right. Breathing in and out. Slowly release that left foot. Inhale those knees back to center. And exhale down to the right. Take that right foot, place it on your left thigh if this is in your practice. And look off to the left. Again, in windshield wipers, breathing in and out. And smile.
Slowly release that right foot. Inhale those knees back to center. Draw them in for a hug. And then place your heels just below your sit bones. Inhale as you push your hips up and place that block underneath your sacrum on the lowest level. Inhale those lips up above you. In supported legs up, legs straight up, allowing the circulation to come back to your vital organs, back down to your brain. Calming us down. Keeping us young to the natural pace left. Slowly inhale and then exhale as you bend your knees, placing your heels behind your sit bones or just below them. Inhale as you push your hips up, releasing the block. And exhale all the way down, draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth, and smile. Oh my goodness gracious. And then from here, inhale through your nose, the side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso, palms are up to receive, down to ground, starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers. Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads. Relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. 
And using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position. Mm -hmm. Facing the front of the room, legs are crossed. Mm -hmm. Hands are not showing mudra. Hands are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Glad you were all here. So great to see you today. And I am excited about seeing you on, let's see, I'm going to go ahead.